All right, you guys, so I feel like straightening my hair today. I just got out the shower and I just realized I didn't even add a leave-in or my heat protectant, which I normally do in the shower, but I'm gonna use the 1212. I only got this much. <laughs> Like, I really love this stuff. Every time I do a silk press, I feel like I need to use her products. 10 out of 10 recommend. But I'm also going to go in with the Dew Silent Treatment. That is kind of like a dupe of my color wow. I do get commission off the links that you see pop up on the screen. But I did find y'all the cheapest deals around because Amazon has gotten really expensive lately. So hopefully giving y'all a little extra link or two might help. I'm obsessed with the color wow but I don't feel like paying for the Color Wild price right now, so we're just gonna use our backup. And I need this to sit on my hair before I even start to blow it out, so I gotta take all my sections down and spray it and then wrap it back up. The biggest tip I would have to say to get your hair to not revert is to make sure your hair is actually moisturized properly. One thing we'll do is we'll go and get braids. <laughs> and then turn around and try to come right out the braids, right into a silk press. All that tension and then heat, like that's a disaster. I have been seeing this girl on TikTok. I actually follow her, I can't think of her name, I'll put her name on the screen. But I have been obsessed with watching her videos. She calls it like the fluffy press. And she says like it doesn't revert, but it's still fluffy and you just straighten your hair no higher than 380 degrees. So, you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna take it there. You know, I'm just thinking that would be fun. That would be nice. Now that I'm thinking about it, I might get a little pissed off because I might be like, oh, this isn't straightening my hair. But I'm going to try to see it through, y'all. I'm going to be so upset if I sit here and part all my hair just to get to the end and it still look like a, a blowout. <laughs> like, that's mad disrespectful. I was just say something. It's gonna take some time. Like, what time is it? It is 10 o'clock p.m. I like to do my silk presses at night because I'm gonna just wrap it right up after I'm done with the silk press portion of after I'm done with the silk press portion of it. And then I'm gonna roll it up, curl it up, put it in the roller so that it can set overnight. I was about to say, baby, you got some more. Don't act up now. Act up, get snatched up. This smells so good. Before you get to blow drying, like let it sink in, friend. Well, I know we're a little impatient, but let the products really get in now. <laughs> I don't know if anybody told you this, friend, but the girls say that blow drying with a dimming brush gets the hair nicer, sleeker, smoother, shinier. <laughs> I mean, they act like it's a miracle brush when it comes to blowing out the hair. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use her because why not? I'm doing six sections this time because I feel like it'll just make it a lot easier for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's getting straight. Y'all see how straight that is? And this is quick. It's just hotter than a month. <laughs> All right, one side done. I need to go ahead and put it in a bun. So I need to go get me a fan. 
and <laughs> turn on some TV or something. I'm going to blow out this other side and I'm going to come back. I got my fan, y'all. I need to cool my hair off because it is hot. Like, if I put my finger in there, burn my finger. This is a really good blowout. Check it out. It is 11 o'clock, so that took one hour with all my shenanigans. And I did take a little small break. Can't even lie. Big. Yeah, so that took less than an hour. With my Conier Silver Burr, it takes me an hour or less to blow out my hair. So, note that. I'm going to use my Babyliss Pro Prima 3100 to straighten my hair today. And we are doing it at 380. And while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and add my serum. This is the 1212 serum. I told y'all we was going to run it back. I love this brand. So, I'm going to do... I don't know how many pumps it say one pump but I just be feeling like be for real okay that's quite a big pump sure sure I'm just gonna run my fingers through my hair okay one pump is enough <laughs> don't go crazy with that and then I'm gonna go in with my beyond the zone heat protecting spray and this is the turn up the heat and I'm just gonna spray this as I like drop my hair, I guess. I will see y'all when we get a little closer to the front because I need to turn this fan on, honey. I'm gonna interchange between my rat tail comb and I also have my wooden clamp. Someone recommended this and I got it and I like it. So yeah. <laughs> this shit was still on 380. <laughs> okay. That's not me. I just realized that I didn't mention this in my previous video. Yes, this technique works on 4C hair, but I do want to mention this. You have to have a good blow dryer. You cannot have a $10 blow dryer and expect to get these same results. Some of y'all are saying that, oh, it may not work for my hair. But the thing is, you just don't have a good blow dryer. You have to have a good blow dryer, period. And the one that I use is the Silver Burr by Conair. It's not that expensive, but it still works as well as the professional brand blow dryers. If not better, this blow dryer is, is the ish, okay? The tension from this brush. Am I right with a little texture? Like, the texture ain't bad. I'm gonna still go over it one more time with like the curlers. So that's why I'm like, I probably shouldn't even be pressing with that kind of heat anyway in the first place. Last one. I'm pulling on it so that I can get tension. Tension is the most important thing. So I take the brush. I brush it till about like, I guess a quarter along the way. And then I take the flat iron. I go in and I go both ways at the roots. This way and bend it this way. And then lead. Now I'm still pulling my hair as I'm flat ironing it. Because like I said, tension helps. I'm not mad at this 380 degree press. This is what my hair is looking like. I need to go find my scissors. I'm probably not gonna cut it on camera with y'all because I really don't know what I'm doing. I ain't got no, I ain't got no business teaching nobody how to do this. Ah! Okay, okay. I'm gonna burnt my darn ear. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. I do be struggling with curls nowadays, and I'm like, where, where did this struggle come from? Because I used to curl my hair all the time. The only reason I couldn't cut my hair, y'all, is because my scissors are very, very dull. Like, 
I don't know what's going on. So I'll cut my hair probably the next time I straighten it. I'll give it a really good cut. But these are the curls, you guys. It's 12.51. I think it took an hour for each. Let's just say an hour for each. An hour to blow dry, an hour to straighten, an hour to curl. If you like me and you like to talk a lot. Now I'm going to take all my clips out so we can reveal the beauty. Yeah, see, when you don't have layers, everything is just like, bloop. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to wrap it. But it is super cute. But in the front, I'm going to wrap it forward. I want to make sure I put my ends in because that's the best point. In that and then do the back I did this one going backwards so I'm gonna go ahead and put my scarf on and I will see you guys in the morning this is what it's looking like it is poofier than my normal presses but I'm not actually upset about it okay this is what it looks like I don't like how high <laughs> this is, so I need to like flatten her. Mm -mm. So I am gonna get some new scissors. If you have any recommendations for some new scissors that are really, really good, no matter what the price is, please drop them below because I am interested. I want some scissors that are gonna get that nice crisp cut because I know where I wanna cut, but working with horrible scissors, but anyway, I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.